This movement is in the tradition of every great moral movement that has advanced the cause of humankind. And every single one of them has met with resistance to the point where many of the advocates wondered, how long is this going to take? Martin Luther King famously, when someone asked, how long is this going to take? He said, how long? Not long. Because no lie can live forever. How long? Not long. Because the moral arc of the universe is long, but it bends toward justice. We are close in this movement to the tipping point beyond which this movement, like the abolition movement, like the women's suffrage movement, like the civil rights movement, like the anti-apartheid movement, like the movement for gay rights, is resolved into a choice between right and wrong. And because of who we are as human beings, I think that in today's uh, busy media environment, documentary movies have perhaps an even bigger impact than in the past because it's one of the only places left where people can sit in a communal setting and receive uh, a 90 minute uh, presentation that uh, has been carefully uh, prepared. A decade ago, the movie An Inconvenient Truth, uh, according to many, had a positive uh, impact in encouraging people to help to solve the climate crisis. And now, uh, a decade later, it's an appropriate time to ask uh, what's new. And there are two big changes. The climate-related extreme weather events are obviously and unfortunately more severe and more common. But the second big change is very positive. We have the solutions now, uh, and they've been coming down in cost so rapidly that they're beginning to displace our reliance on the sources of carbon pollution uh, using uh, fossil fuels. Well, the evidence indicates that uh, many people in that category are now uh, changing their minds. I, I have had a big ally, Mother Nature, whose voice turns out to be uh, more persuasive than the voice any of us have, and I think that has had a big impact. Actually, it's like arguing that gravity doesn't exist uh, or that uh, the Earth isn't round. Uh, it, it is really now at the point where Almost everyone now sees that, yes, uh, we have to stop using the sky as an open sewer because it's trapping so much heat. Temperatures are going up rapidly. You had the event six weeks ago here in Switzerland in Bondo. Uh, one of many events around the world now occurring with regularity. In my country, we just had these four destructive hurricanes in a row. Uh, and all of these kinds of events are the ones that scientists have been warning us about for decades. And now they're even worse, but uh, it is a time of choosing, uh, and it is a time to speak truth to power and to accelerate the positive solutions. <laughs> well, I'm launching this sequel now, and hopefully a, a decade from now we will be uh, uh, so far into the solutions that it won't be <laughs> necessary to do another movie. But thank you for asking. <laughs>